Reports indicate that Scorpio controls the majority of the Eternal Fleet, but not all. Argon's flagship still commands a sizable armada. How he's blocking Scorpio's influence, we don't know. Might have something to do with Gemini Prime's sudden urge to take a nap. Scorpio never expressed an interest in ruling the masses. She must have a larger plan for the Eternal Throne. If that's true, I doubt she'll share it with us. Replacing Arkin with a psychotic droid wasn't what I had in mind when we formed the Alliance. Scorpio knows too much. We're at a disadvantage. She's made no moves against us, and without the Eternal Throne, Arkin is weakened. Do not underestimate my son. We can deal with the droid later. What's happening? Someone's slicing into our communications. Who? I trust you have not forgotten me. Our partnership is incomplete. A partnership implies trust. You've proven untrustworthy. I seized an opportunity. It wasn't personal. This is merely a courtesy call. Arkin approaches Edison. He intends to destroy the planet like he leveled Asylum. That's not possible. He doesn't know our location. I told him. I was curious to see what was more important to Arkin. Retaking the Eternal Throne or defeating you? And in turn, his father. Let him come. If he's so eager to die, I will indulge him. I knew you would understand. Arkin is a nuisance that must be dealt with. You are in the best position to do so. She's not lying. Massive fleet inbound. Don't get too comfortable. You're in my seat. Yet it feels like it was made for me. We can counterattack, but we'll need people here in case Arkin deploys ground troops. Commander, I'd like to stay here. Help defend the Alliance camp. I'll hang back as well. Major Paws would be lost without me. You done? I want to leave someone else to mediate. If anyone can keep these two in line, it's a Mandalorian. I've wrangled bigger beasts. Leave it to me. Everyone else, head to the gravestone. Arkhan's reign ends today. <laughs>